All right, so I'm going to show how to open up and disassemble this Lenovo Model Z 50-70. Um, so this one had a liquid spill, so... Um, but first thing, if you have a liquid spill, what you want to do is remove the battery and disconnect the power, make sure the computer's off. Um, but to disconnect the battery, you just slide these two um, tabs to the, to the outside, and it'll pop out just like that. When you have to put it back in, there's these little notches. Just make sure you put the notch in first, and then you swing it down like that. Okay. Um, so yeah, so first thing you want to do is remove all the screws. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right. Okay, count them all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah. So once you remove those twelve screws, you'll want to take this cover and slide it down. So if you can't get your fingers or you can't pull it down this way, you can use a little pry tool and just slide it this way. Okay. After you do that, you can lift this out. There's still a little water in it, but we'll see. I dried up what I could without because I didn't finish taking it completely apart. But anyways, after you do that, you want to remove all the screws from in here as well. So inside, you'll have one screw here, and then you'll have three screws holding the fan. Um, you'll have another screw here underneath this um, warranty label, and then you'll have another screw here. When you remove that screw, you can pull out the CD drive. Okay. Um, when you put it back, um, sometimes it'll get stuck, so you might have to flip it upside down, and then you can push it in. Um, it gets stuck because this little tab um, gets in the way. Okay, so just pull that out. All right. After you remove the CD drive, then remove the rest of the screws. So there's four screws holding in the hard drive. Once you remove the four screws, you can slide this back. Um, somebody upgraded this to a 2.5 inch SATA SSD. So if you want, you can do that. It makes the computer a lot faster. All right, and then continue removing the screws. So once you removed all of those, there's another screw here. And then there's, um, I think that might be it. Just make sure to check. Um, I removed them to kind of speed up the process so I'm not taking them out while I'm doing the video. But um, yeah, so those are all the screws. After that, you want to disconnect the antennas. So pull the antennas so they're coming out from underneath the plastic shell and then get as close um, from the tail as you can and just pull it up just like that. So you don't want to pull from the front of the connector, you want to pull from the tail. Okay, so get the antenna out from under the plastic and then just pry up from the tail just like that. All right, so I don't think I'm going to have to remove the antenna wiring, so I'll leave it there. And the wireless card isn't attached to the plastic shell, so I'll leave it there. All right. After you do that, there's the DC jack connector here. To remove that, just grab as close as you can to the connector. If you can grab the white connector, that will be better. But just grab it and then wiggle it and it'll come out. So if you can't grab there, you can do it by the wires, but be careful not to bend it too much or you can damage these wires. Okay, then you got the LCD connector here. Um, whenever removing the LCD connector, you always want to hold the power button. This one was completely dead, so I didn't do that. But normally when you want to remove the LCD connector, you want to take all the power, disconnect the power, disconnect the battery, hold the power button for a few seconds, and then pop the LCD connector off. So to pop the LCD connector off, what you do is you grab this. Oh, let me reattach it first. So you grab this, and then I use my fingernail or a pry tool under one of the corners. Or the edge and then you just pop it up so like this and then you can pop it out like that okay so here's the fan i took the three screws out already to remove this grab the little white connector and then same like with the power one you just keep wiggling it and it'll eventually pop out don't use too much force or you can damage it okay just keep wiggling it while you're pulling okay and it will slowly come up like very slowly so yeah just be patient there you go so this has dust in it, I'll clean it later. All right, so looks like we got all those screws out. Um, these two screws were holding the hinges, so now since those screws are out, you wanna be careful when you open the computer. Um, just open it slowly, okay? Because um, we are going to have to remove the keyboard. So to remove the keyboard, you need like a thin pry tool. I just use this like frosting spatula. This one's super thin. Uh, they do have like these thicker ones. Um, that I had to like uh, file it down and shave it so it's like really thin now. 
but um, this one I like it works pretty well it's not super thin super sharp but it works pretty well for this so what you do is you go between the gap at the top here and then you slide it along you'll feel your tool will hit a bump and then when you hit that bump you want to like pry it up there so just like that and then I use my fingernail or my finger or you can use a pry tool to kind of hold it up and then just go find the next bump and then pry it at those spots okay so you go there feel a bump pry it up go there feel a bump pry it up go there feel a bump and then pry it up okay just like that once you pry up all the things um, you can pull up on the middle and then push down on the sides and that will flex it so that it pulls the clip or pulls the keyboard inwards so the clip doesn't grab it anymore once you do that lift the keyboard up slightly Okay, and then you can see there's a little tab here. Oh, well, you can't see it. Well, here you go. So there's a little tab here. Just flip that up, and then you can pull that out. Um, there's still a bunch of water under here, so that's going to be, I don't know. I think the keyboard's dead. Yeah, if there's this much water under here, this keyboard is toast. Okay. But anyways, so I'll just dry up what I can. I'm gonna have to run this computer without the keyboard. Okay, so here's the um, power button cable. So just flip up the little latch, you can pull the cable out. All right, and then you got the trackpad cable, flip the latch out, you can pull it out. Um, this one, it's connected, I think, to the CD drive, but you don't need to flip that up. Um, okay, so after you get all of that done, um, then what you wanna do, um, slide it forward. So. Underneath here, between the front and this bottom panel, there's a gap, so you want to go between there, and that's where you will pry it. Okay, at least I think, let me make sure. Where is it? Yeah, it's not up there. Okay, yeah, so you need to pry it out there. Let's see if it'll pop up. I might have to use a pry tool if I can't pop it out with my fingernails. Let's see. But most people don't have those metal tools, so It'll be tough if you have to open this without them. So, okay, so it's easier to start, I think, from the back here. Here you can see I already pulled it up and there's a gap. All right, hopefully you can see in the camera. So as you pull that up, you can see it's popping out. This one you want to do while the screen's open because I think the, the keyboard layer will actually come up separate. So here you go. It's coming out. All right. These little tabs are tricky because each one of these little spots between the ports have a little tab. But yeah, you want to do this while the screen is open because the top layer will come out. The bottom layer is attached with the um, hinge, I believe. Okay, hopefully you can see this. But basically, you just keep going around. Hopefully there's no screws left in there. Oh. And just pry it just like this. Okay. Okay that okay and just go all the way around sorry if you can't see this but hopefully you get the idea okay let's see here probably gonna have to close it a little again uh, I don't know how I can show this on camera because I have to put it in a tilt it up a certain way let's see here Close this again, pull this piece out. I don't remember, I don't think they're hiding screws under this one. Let me double check. I don't think so, because this side. Oh, they might be hiding a screw underneath this. Let me try popping that rubber cover off and see. Nope, there's no screw under there. Okay, so just have to use more force prying this up. So this plastic piece down here comes up, so you have to pry that up. Okay, so while you're popping that up, the clip connects. Let's see, okay. So to remove that, you just push this plastic piece inwards and that will release the clip while you're pulling it up, okay. Just like that, you can see the clips are released. 
All right, this back part is kind of tricky because the clips here, it clips on the side and those are very difficult to remove. Usually those, I think they end up just breaking because I don't know how you would pull this piece outwards like that. But uh, let's see here. Yeah, that clip is really stuck. Um, it looks like I might have to remove the antennas. No, I don't. Okay. So, we will open the screen back up. Remember to do it slowly since the hinges aren't being held in place. There's no screws under here, so it should pop out. We just have to use some force. Okay. Wow, that's held in really strong. I've opened these before. Let's see here. I have to try it this way. Yeah, if I'm having trouble, this is probably going to be tough for you guys. Unless somebody knows some special trick to do this. Let's see if I can do it with my tool here. No. Yeah, I don't know. We need like a special hook tool to do this easily. If not, it, you basically have to just destroy that <laughs> clip. Okay, let's see here. So this connects here. Let's see if we can use the pry tool and release the middle first. I don't know if you can see where I'm prying, but I can get my fingernail in there and then I can pop this connectors out. All right. There you go. So that works. If you go in where the battery is, sorry for the shaking, um, then there's this little gap here and you can pry it out there. All right. That makes it easier. Once you do that, okay, let's flip it back over. And all the clips are out now. There we go. So now that all the clips are out, this whole um, panel comes out here, you can see. All right, wow, there's a lot of moisture in here. So I'm gonna have to dry this all up. Oh, I'm getting a call. I think it's from the customer that's waiting for their computer. So I will continue this in a part two. All right, see you in the next one, bye.